Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news live on Bahrain International with me, Danielle Deporto. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, on being granted a United Nations Industrial Development Organization, UNIDO, award in recognition of His Majesty's efforts to enhance development and consolidate Bahrain's status in entrepreneurship and the empowerment of women and youths in economic fields. His Royal Highness asserted that the global honouring confirms anew the international appreciation enjoyed by His Majesty in recognition of his landmark achievements in various fields to fulfil the aspirations of Bahraini people for more progress and prosperity by building a robust, comprehensive development base that is capable of dealing with various global crises confidently. He voiced pride in His Majesty's wise leadership, stressing strong resolve to continue exerting tremendous efforts in order to achieve the royal aspirations for the well-being of the nation and its citizens. His Royal Highness wished His Majesty the King abundant good health and happiness. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the occasion of the United Nations Industrial Development Organization UNIDO Award being conferred in recognition of His Majesty's global role in delivering the Bahrain model for economic empowerment. His Royal Highness received the award on behalf of His Majesty the King on the sidelines of UNIDO's 50th anniversary, taking pride in His Majesty's patronage of the Kingdom's exemplary mid-development march and lauding the efforts of the Supreme Council for Women's President and wife of Her Maj His Majesty the King, Her Royal Highness Princess Abicha bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, pledging to continue the national development process under the wise leadership of His Majesty the King. UNIDO the UNIDO Award recognizes decades of diligent work and the development of innovative initiatives that have ensured a better future for women, young people and entrepreneurs in the Kingdom of Bahrain. Bahrain began its partnership with UNIDO by hosting its Investment and Technology Promotion Office 20 years ago, which culminated in the Bahrain Model for Economic Empowerment, now being followed in 48 countries across the globe. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from Her Royal Highness, wife of His Majesty the King and Chairwoman of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Abicha bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, congratulating him for receiving the United Nations Industrial Development Organization UNIDO Award. The award comes in recognition of the success of the Bahraini model of entrepreneurship and empowering women economically, based on His Majesty's strategic vision. She added that the award affirms Bahrain's leading position in the fields of human resources. Her Royal Highness expressed pride in receiving the UNIDO Award, which Bahrain has earned because of its advanced national development. She also expressed appreciation to His, Maj His Majesty's wise leadership, which has enabled women to participate effectively in the Kingdom's national march and has made them an important pillar of society. She expressed thanks to His Majesty for his continuous support to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa which has allowed him to implement the e Kingdom's economic vision. She wished the country prosperity and the wise leadership further success. His Majesty, King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, sent a cable of congratulations and good wishes to Lebanese President Michel Aoun on his country's Independence Day, wishing him continued health and happiness and the Lebanese people further progress and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa paid a visit to Bahrain Defence Force BDF headquarters, where he was received upon his arrival by BDF Commander-in-Chief Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, Minister of Defence Affairs, Lieutenant General Yusuf bin Ahmed Al Jalahma, BDF Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Diab bin Sakra Al Naimi, His Highness Royal Guard Commander Brigadier Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and a number of senior officers. His Majesty praised the programmes and future plans laid out by the BDF to provide units with the latest military systems and the best levels of scientific and practical training in order to raise their abilities in deploying the finest modern military sciences. He expressed his appreciation and pride in the BDF and its affiliates who will always protect the Kingdom, its march, achievements and national unity. He also expressed his appreciation of the officers' bravery, determination and discipline and affirmed that they will always be a source of pride for their keenness in carrying out their national duties. His Majesty lauded the joint military cooperation and coordination between the Gulf Council countries and stressed the importance of strengthening this brotherly coordination with other friendly countries as well to maintain the stability of the region. He wished all BDF affiliates success in assuming their noble duties.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, inaugurated the 25th Jewelry Exhibition, Jewelry Arabia 2016, organized by the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority at the Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Center. Jewelry Arabia, which has the participation of 600 exhibitors from 300 countries, will present the latest innovations and designs in jewelry and luxury watches, precious stones and art objects, accessories and more. His Royal Highness toured the exhibition and listened to exhibitors talk about their exhibits and the gold and jewelry industry. He expressed his admiration of the exhibit's designs and quality. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister urged authorities to provide more facilities that support the development of tourism and the economy in order to attract more exhibitions that encourage investment into the kingdom. His Royal Highness also expressed the government's keenness in supporting investment to reinforce development in all sectors in the kingdom. He noted that Bahrain's ability to attract regional and international exhibitions and investments reflects the solid economic structure of Bahrain. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister stressed the importance of creating more projects in the gold and jewellery industry and in producing experts and specialists in the field. He added that expanding specialised exhibitions is one of the government's key plans to develop the national economy and provide job opportunities for citizens. His Royal Highness affirmed that Jewelry Arabia has had a good reputation for 25 years as one of the most prestigious exhibitions for gold and jewellery. He added that the creative people of Bahrain contributed to this with their designs and innovations, making Bahrain one of the pioneers in the field and a destination for related exhibitions. His Royal Highness the Premier noted that Jewelry Arabia provides an opportunity for major companies and international brands from all around the world to meet in one place and make deals and contracts. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister expressed thanks and appreciation to the exhibition's organisers and participants for their efforts in ensuring the success of the event, wishing them further success and prosperity.
Jewelry Arabia 2016, the Middle East premier jewelry and watch exhibition, is officially inaugurated under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Bahrain, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, at the Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Center. It will go through until Saturday, the 26th of November 2016. Talking about Bahrain show, I think it's for me or as the rest as what I hear in the market it's the third worldwide and the first in the Middle East and it's so important we target uh, Bahraini customers our neighbors from Saudi Arabia Kuwait Qatar UAE we have a lot of customers the event brings together over 600 exhibitors from 30 countries for a five-day showcasing of glitz and glamour. Spanning over 21,000 square meters of exhibition space, a huge range of finished jewelry, luxury timepieces, precious stones, clocks, fine writing instruments, accessories and more from around the globe will be on sale. My first customer I ever had from the GCC countries was a Bahraini couple in London. Uh, we, are, we were exhibiting for 25 years at the, the jewelry show in London when it was still higher end. And it was a lovely couple from Bahrain who bought a, an important piece from us. And they showed such an appreciation for the quality and the attention to detail that we give. And that's why I thought give it, uh, I thought, give it a try. And I tell you, we are very, very happy here in Bahrain. Eight national groups from leading jewelry expert countries are also going to showcase their pieces. They include returning delegations of the finest retailers, designers and manufacturers from Hong Kong, India, Italy, Singapore, Thailand, Turkey, the United Kingdom and the United States of America. Collectively, these groups reflect the very best manufacturing capabilities, designs, expertise and genealogical resources that their respective countries have to offer. I get my inspiration from uh, everything beautiful in this world. It comes from most of it from nat the nature, I mean, colors, uh, uh, flowers, uh, from everywhere. And everything that inspires me, I can uh, make a very nice uh, piece of jewelry from it. Well, really, the jewelry could be comfortable for the madam, beautiful, important. And uh, we try to use a different kind of material and uh, different kind of uh, style uh, always in the classic uh, for the classic moment uh, in the jewelry uh, so we have made some pieces with uh, memory gold uh, with uh, tubo gas and uh, always with diamond this is Sarah Brake for Bahrain International on behalf of his majesty king hamad bin isa khalifa his royal highness the crown prince deputy supreme commander and first deputy prime minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today participated as the guest of honor in the UNIDO 2016 Together for a Sustainable Future Expo. The expo coincides with the 50th anniversary of the organization's establishment and recognizes two decades of strategic relations between UNIDO and Bahrain, which produced the Bahrain model for economic empowerment that is now being followed in 48 countries. The Crown Prince received an award on behalf of His Majesty in recognition of both his and Bahrain's global role in delivering economic empowerment for youths and women via the Bahrain Model for Economic Empowerment. His Royal Highness said that His Majesty's comprehensive reform pro program is built upon the principles of the 2001 National Action Charter, which drives programs and initiatives that advance individual rights and justice, enhance accountability and increase participation in sustainable development. The Crown Prince added that the award is representative of the diligent efforts and innovative initiatives that have delivered a better future for women, youths and entrepreneurs in Bahrain. His Royal Highness also said that Bahrain's Supreme Council for Women is dedicated to promoting women's empowerment and has played a vital role in increasing women's participation in the workforce by over 36% since Bahrain became a UN member in 1971. He added that female workers now constitute 53% of the public sector workforce and 30% of the private sector workforce. Additionally, the pioneering Tom Keen Labour Fund, which drives entrepreneurial development through grants and guidance, has invested over 800 million Bahraini dinars to support 95,000 Bahrainis since its establishment a decade ago, with many of the beneficiaries being young people and women. The Crown Prince said that labour reforms within the Kingdom have significantly increased protections for workers, ensured freedom of labour movement and combated human trafficking. He further added that Bahrain's Economic Vision 2030 reinforces the principles of sustainability, fairness and competitiveness as the basis for social and economic development in the Kingdom. Since the launch of 
Bahrain's Vision 2030, the kingdom's GDP has increased 28%, with a 47% increase in the average income of a Bahraini family. The Crown Prince stressed that the kingdom has recognised UNIDO's important role in alleviating poverty and empowering youth and women across the world for half a century, and added that Bahrain is delighted to have been an active and dedicated contributor to these efforts. His Royal Highness expressed pride in the joint partnership that facilitates innovation and entrepreneurship, leading to societal and economic improvements, expanding opportunities and inspiring change. The Crown Prince said that Bahrain's long-standing diversification efforts have consistently focused on investing in citizens' futures and equipping future generations with the resources needed to reach their goals and aspirations. His Royal Highness added that these efforts have been underpinned by providing the private sector, which now employs more Bahraini citizens than the public sector, with the tools it needs to support the modern and interconnected economy. The Director General of UNIDA, Mr Lee Young, said that he was privileged to present awards to those who have made the programme possible, like His Majesty, represented by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. He highlighted Bahrain's achievements in delivering economic empowerment for women and youths by saying that one of UNIDA's success stories in supporting women's empowerment is the Entrepreneurship Development and Investment Promotion Programme that is implemented by the Investment and Technology Promotion Office in Bahrain. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, today met the Director General of the United Nations Industrial Development Organization, UNIDO, Mr. Lee Young. This came on the sidelines of the UNIDO 2016 Expo, which marks the 50th anniversary of its establishment. His Royal Highness is attending the Expo as a guest of honour on behalf of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness highlighted Bahrain's commitment to support the Sustainable Development Goals of the UN, which require collective and universal efforts to pursue long-term prosperity. His Royal Highness underscored His Majesty's global role in delivering economic empowerment for youths and women, which has been recognised by UNIDO and the international community. His Royal Highness congratulated the Director General on the organisation's 50th anniversary and highlighted its achievements through its promotion of industrial development in developing and transitional countries. 
His Royal Highness praised the strategic partnership between Bahrain and UNIDO locally and internationally, which includes the establishment of the UNIDO Investment and Technology Promotion Office, ITPO, in Bahrain, which is celebrating its 20th anniversary this year. He underlined the success of the Bahrain model for economic empowerment, which has been implemented in 48 countries worldwide. The Crown Prince emphasized Bahrain's commitment to play a pioneering role in economic empowerment in line with His Majesty's development program. He added that recognizing His Majesty's global role in these areas represents decades of work and the development of innovative initiatives that ensure a better future for women, young people and entrepreneurs. Mr. Lee Young expressed appreciation for Bahrain's leading role in supporting UNIDO initiatives and projects. He also praised His Majesty's vision, highlighting his commitment to the economic empowerment of women, youths and entrepreneurs. He also paid tribute to the unwavering efforts of the Labour Fund Tam Keen in supporting the implementation of the Bahrain model for economic empowerment and expressed keenness to develop further partnerships with Bahrain in the future. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa today met Dr Rashid bin Fahad, the United Arab Emirates Minister of State on the sidelines of the UNIDO 2016 Expo. He stressed that the Kingdom of Bahrain, under the leadership of His Majesty the King, has made investing in citizens' futures a priority, underpinning all development efforts, as represented by Bahrain's empowerment of entrepreneurs, youths, women and enterprises. His Royal Highness highlighted that the Bahrain model for economic empowerment, which has been adopted in 48 countries, represents the successful strategic partnership between Bahrain and UNIDO. The Crown Prince emphasised the strength of the long-standing bilateral ties between Bahrain and the UAE, noting the commitment of both countries' leaderships to further strengthen relations. In this regard, His Royal Highness underscored the wide-ranging cooperation between the two countries, which has been bolstered by a range of development projects, and extended his best wishes to the leadership of the UAE and its people. Dr Rashid also praised the strong ties between both countries and paid tribute to Bahrain's pioneering role in facilitating entrepreneurship. He also underlined the pivotal roles played by His Majesty and His Royal Highness in advancing entrepreneurial empowerment in Bahrain. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, received in Vienna the Cuban Minister of Industry, Mr. Salvador Bardo Cruz. This came within the framework of His Royal Highness's participation in UNIDO's 50th anniversary celebration. His Royal Highness expressed desire for communication and cooperation with the Republic of Cuba for the purpose of supporting economic cooperation between the two countries. He highlighted the Gulf's openness towards South American countries and the importance of capitalizing upon that by enhancing cooperation in various fields, including industry and the exchange of expertise. His Royal Highness affirmed the private sector's role in enhancing relations and cooperation between Bahrain and Cuba. During the meeting, Bahraini-Cuban relations and means of bolstering them were reviewed, as well as Bahrain's experience in empowering youths and women, which was commended by UNIDO. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, today received Dr. Joachim Kochler, member of the managing board of Deutsche Messe AG, at the UNIDO 50th Anniversary 2016 Expo in Vienna. The Crown Prince highlighted the important role played by the exhibitions and events industry in advancing development across the Kingdom. His Royal Highness praised the sector's significant contribution to the exchange of knowledge and expertise between Bahrain and its international and regional partners. The Crown Prince emphasised Bahrain's commitment to further expanding its MICE sector, adding that Bahrain would continue to build its strong track record in hosting and organising world-class conferences and exhibitions. He spoke of ongoing efforts to develop innovative opportunities for youths and women in Bahrain and added that exhibitions and industry sectors had helped encourage and develop entrepreneurial opportunities through the exchange of best practices and successful models across the region and worldwide. The Crown Prince concluded by recognizing the important role the Hanover Messe International Exhibition in promoting industrial investment and the latest technological breakthroughs. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa on receiving the UNIDO Award in recognition of his role in empowering women and the youths economically, affirming that his unlimited support, strategies and initiatives have reflected Bahrain's march towards sustainable development. His Highness added that the Elite Award reflects the global appreciation of His Majesty's efforts 
to build a brighter future for the kingdom. He stated that His Majesty's vision is based on creating economic opportunities for the youth and developing their entrepreneurship to help them achieve their ambitions. His Highness said that Bahrain has offered a number of leading programs aimed at granting youth the opportunity to start their own projects. He asserted that the Bahraini youth has always invested in His Majesty's programs and used them as starting points. He noted that conferring the Unido Award to His Majesty the King in appreciation for his support to women and enabling them in all fields has resulted in the effective participation of women in society as women in Bahrain now occupy high positions and have become strong competitors to men in supporting Bahrain's economy. Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Al Mullah, chaired today its weekly meeting. The Council approved a report on amending laws regarding the Central Bank of Bahrain and financial institutions, and another report on the Arab Convention to Combat Money Laundering and Terrorist Financing. The Council also approved a report about building two kindergartens in each governorate for children of low-income families. The meeting approved another report directing Tamkeen to support Bahraini-owned institutions and also approved establishing a small central market in Isa Town. The Judicial and Legal Studies Institute put together a vast schedule of workshops and lectures targeting women working in the judicial field. The first of these workshops was about women in the Bahraini constitution, where participants discussed cases. Bahraini judge Dr. Mona al Kawari said such lectures and workshops are an important tool for developing and supporting judicial and legal bodies. The first uh, part, it will be as a general no, no. Uh, about the women in Bahrain and the other one about the constitution and uh, how a uh, constitution with the uh, Bahraini lady. The Smart Hub Gateway for Global and GCC Investment and Industries Forum began today, bringing together local and global business figures and delegates in order to enhance investment opportunities in the Kingdom of Bahrain. More in this report with Mohamed Yusuf. In order to promote the Kingdom of Bahrain as a market that is able to attract investments, a forum entitled Bahrain, the Smart Hub and Gateway for Global and GCC Investment and Industries, organized by Adana Partners and Ferguson Partners Family Office, went underway to showcase the Bahraini business environment. The national investment opportunities are suitable for different types of businesses and commercial trade, which will enhance the kingdom's status internationally and attract foreign and GCC companies to invest in Bahrain. Actually, we are trying to help the international delegation to understand our market, which is Bahrain. So this event is our seventh event, and uh, we brought in the past more than 150 international delegation. So we are proud today standing by telling the people why you have to do the business in Bahrain. So this is the aim and objective behind this event. This event is very, very important for Bahrain because it puts Bahrain on the map more than before. We are also going to talk about tourism opportunities here. We are showing an international delegation of more than 20 people who have, some of them never been to Bahrain and some of them have even never been to the Middle East before. We are showing them that Bahrain is the pearl of the region. Over 20 companies from the Gulf states, the United States and Europe are taking part in the forum. The delegation, in addition to experts in the field of business investments and industries, are discussing a number of topics such as the future economy of Bahrain and the GCC, real estate, stocks and sustainable agriculture. Our yields are tremendous and the demand for organic food has grown so much that we get very high profit margins. So we can be profitable, we can serve people, and we can serve the environment. The business figures participating in the forum affirmed the importance of discussing investment opportunities and gathered the required information about GCC markets in order to open doors for cooperation and coordination with regional and international companies. The huge attendance and attraction to these kinds of forums affirms Bahrain's ability to attract foreign capital and establish Bahrain's position at an international level. Yeah, well, we've uh, we've come out to Bahrain with the uh, WMG Collectible Car Fund to uh, to raise awareness and uh, hopefully raise some funding as well for the uh, for the investment. So we're hoping, you know, literally after the forum, that we can uh, sit down and meet one to one with uh, several new investors for the fund from uh, you know from the from the Middle Eastern region. Are linking and connecting the dots between the uh, foreign investors and the local and the GCC 
Bahrain is a smart hub for global and GCC investment and industries. It gathers a number of official and delegates from the Gulf and international communities in order to enhance commercial cooperation and attract investment opportunities. Reporting for Bahrain International, I am Hamid Youssef. And now before we end the news, here is a reminder of the top stories. His Majesty the King expresses appreciation and pride in the BDF and its affiliates, who will always protect the kingdom, its march, achievements and national unity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister urges authorities to provide facilities that support tourism and economic development in order to attract more exhibitions that develop investments in the kingdom. And His Royal Highness the Crown Prince says the award by UNIDO to His Majesty the King is representative of the diligent efforts and innovative initiatives that have delivered a better future for women, youths and entrepreneurs in Bahrain. And that's it from Bahrain International's News Centre. From all the news team and me, Danielle Deporto, thank you for joining us and goodbye.